Have you ever asked yourself the question, am I good enough for God? Uh, sometimes we would wonder, don't we? Do I stand in a right relationship with God? Am I good enough for him? Uh, does my life measure up? And uh, of course, we would probably in our minds think about some of those situations we found ourselves in, some of the things we've said, some of the things we've done that fall far short of God's uh, perfect standard. And so we might wonder to ourselves, am I good enough for God? Actually, Jesus answers that question, but I'm not sure you're going to like the answer that he gives. In Matthew chapter 5, he says to the audience, For I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. Wow, the, the Pharisees, the teachers of the law, they were meticulous about obeying the law and uh, doing things right. And they thought themselves to be uh, you know, well accepted by God, uh, that God would accept them. But Jesus says here, no, your righteousness has to be even greater than that of a Pharisee, greater than that of one who uh, seemingly kept the law perfectly, at least on the outside. Why? Because the law of God applies not just to the outside actions, words, activities, but to the heart as well. And this is a point that Jesus made over and over again. It's a matter of the heart, our, our attitudes, our, our, uh, our outlook on life, the way we think about people and the, the way our hearts respond to God. And so Jesus says, no, you really aren't good enough. The good news, though, is that Jesus didn't stop there. He went on to talk about good news throughout his ministry. He invited people into a real relationship with, with God, but not because of our own works and our efforts, but because of Christ and his work on the cross for us so that we discover that our righteousness certainly does have to surpass that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, but it surpasses it because it's Jesus' righteousness that's given to us. When we put our faith in Jesus Christ, Christ gives us his righteousness, and that far surpasses anything that humans can do. And that righteousness of Christ living within us uh, then makes us right in God's sight. So then we become, through Christ, good enough for God. He accepts us into his family, uh, both now and forever. What a great and, and blessed gospel we get to share, uh, both to enjoy for ourselves, to know that we can be right with God, but to share with others. And so we can be right with God through Jesus Christ. And I hope that you've accepted Christ, and I hope you're living out that great truth of his great grace in our lives. Thanks for taking time to join me for this pastoral visit.